So in this question, it says the author of passage 2 would most likely respond to discussion of the future of space mining in lines 18 to 28 in passage 1 by claiming that such a future. All right, so let's see what that future looks like in passage 1, lines 18 to 28. So this is saying, within a few decades, these firms may be meeting earthly demands for precious metals, such as platinum and gold, and the rare earth metals vital for personal electronics, such as yttrium and lanthanum. But like the gold rush, pioneers who transformed the Western United States, the first space miners won't just enrich themselves. They also hope to build an off-planet economy free of any bonds with the Earth in which the materials extracted and processed from the moon and asteroids are delivered for space-based projects. Okay, so it's talking about like basically taking uh, minerals and elements from uh, these asteroids uh, and using them either on Earth or kind of in an off economy, off Earth economy, um, uh, for other things, space based projects. Okay, uh, now notice that this is a linked question, right? So we're going to try to find Passage 2's reaction to that um, from the lines that we get are given in question 51. So let's start with A, lines 60 to 63, and see if this is a reaction to um, minerals or elements being extracted uh, from, Earth, uh, from space. So 60 to 63 says, part of this is about principles. Some will argue that space's magnificent desolation is not ours to despoil, just as they argue that our own planet's poles should remain pristine. Um, so what I don't like here, we're trying to find passage two's opinion, and here he says some will argue right he's this isn't even his opinion right he's just saying these are other people's opinions um, so for that reason I'm gonna get rid of a B says uh, line 674 to 76 um, says the resources that are valuable in orbit and beyond may be very different to those we prize on earth um, so this is kind of reaction um, saying that maybe the stuff that we get in space isn't um, isn't going to be that valuable on Earth. Eh, maybe. Uh, let's keep it. C, uh, lines 81 to 83, says, One speaker at last week's space mining forum in Sydney, Australia, concluded with a plea that regulation should be avoided. Again, just like in the first one, this is one speaker at a forum in Australia. This isn't Passage 2's opinion, right? So we're going to get rid of that. Uh, lines 85 to 87 says, Without consensus, claims will be disputed, investments risky, and gains made insecure. Um, this is kind of making a comment on space mining too, right? It's saying, if we don't figure out uh, some regulation for this, um, it's going to be really hard to figure out, okay, who owns the stuff that we're getting in space? Um, uh, why should I make an investment if I don't even know if I own stuff, right? So that's going to be, that could be it too. Um, so again, B says um, that uh, the stuff that we get in, Earth, on, in space won't be as valuable uh, uh, to us on Earth. And D is saying we need some regulation um, before we go into space. So let's try to find an answer in 50 that matches either one of those. So A says, is inconsistent with the sustainable use of space resources. Uh, that doesn't really fit either, uh, right? Because it's not saying that the elements in space are going to be different in value on Earth or that um, we need regulation. B says, will be difficult to bring about in the absence of regulations. Oh, I think you could even stop here because that fits perfectly with D, but let's just make sure. Let's look at C. Um, cannot be attained without technologies that do not yet exist. Um, again, our two options, B and D, don't talk about technology, so I would get rid of that. And D says, seems certain to affect Earth's economy in a negative way. Um, yeah, even though, though that B did talk about our economy and how, how we're going to value the space resources, it doesn't necessarily say it's going to be negative. It's just going to be. It just says it's going to be different, right, than the value in Earth, uh, in space. So, uh, I think what we saw before, um, question fifty should be B. Will be difficult to bring about in absence of regulations, and that's supported um, by D in fifty one, 
um, that we need some kind of consensus so that investments aren't risky and claims won't be disputed.